If you guys didn't know, they did come out with a new Derek Brooks and Steve Largent today. Uh, somebody actually said in my last commentary that I pulled like the best outside linebacker in the game, and it was a it was a team of the week card, and he was a linebacker for the Buccaneers, and it, it wasn't it wasn't Derek Brooks, of course, and it wasn't um as I start the pack opening, it wasn't what was his what's his name? What's his name? Levante David. It wasn't either of those guys. I think it was David Lansana. Lansana. If I said that correctly. So, anyways, we're, we're going through this pack. Obviously, we're going for some legends. I think I'm just going to. Oh, check it out. Brian Hoyer, team of the week card. We're actually starting this pack opening off pretty good. Because this is a pro pack. And I've become so used to not pulling anything out of pro packs that a card like this Brian Hoyer is actually really good to me. I don't know the team of the week offensive player this week, which is pretty sad on my behalf. I, I have no idea who, who it could be. So I don't know if I'll actually look into doing that collection as I get a Justin Forsett, a Josh Hull, and mm, a Stevie Brown. Check it out. I wonder if this guy goes into a collection. And he actually does. He goes into the Giants Elite Collection. I'm actually one of the few guys that have been still calling. Actually, I say few. I'm sure there's a lot more of us. I'm still kind of living that Madden 25 life. Madden 25 was great. I still call sets collections. I don't know, man. I I'm still not out. You guys know uh, Chris Chester. So, hold on. 85 overall, 85 run block, 89 pass block. The strength is pretty low though. And I'm not quite sure what strength does for offensive linemen. Like obviously you think it would give them more of a push, but wouldn't that be impact? Well, no, impact block is pancakes. Well, I, I guess strength just might be how good they hold up. That, man, maybe I should look into strength more when I get defensive linemen. Oh, well, Lovey Smith. So I've been getting a lot of Buccaneers players lately. Maybe I'll, I'll end up stumbling across a, a very good Buccaneers player. If, if you know what I'm saying. Is that a Charles Sims? Derek Morgan. I'm not feeling that one. Mm, I, I'm just looking forward to the Game Changer pack at this point. Because if my Game Changer pack is terrible, that's going to speak volumes. Oh, is that Toby Gearhart's brother? Man, I, I had to drop Toby Gearhart in fantasy, man. I don't know what I was thinking when I drafted him. I wasted a fourth round pick on it. was a 14 team league. And there were a lot of good receivers available. It's like a Kevin Williams, but I don't know, man. I, I was kind of tripping. A Georgia Dome. I should have quick sold that on the spot. But I, 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 was feeling, I was feeling good today. So game changer pack. If these packs are, are terrible, you might not see me for a while. I'm, I might go MIA. Okay. Here we go. First card is a gold badge. I don't think I've ever gotten my gold, my, my gold badge first. I always get a gold badge though. So does a gold badge, another Stevie Brown. So do gold badges come in every game changer pack opening? A John Greco, he's a 74. He's a, he's a gold card below 75. Another one. This is about to be terrible. And, uh, He's barely above 75. I'm eating my words. I'm I'm low key. I, I'm not feeling this pack opening. Yo, hi key. Forget like this is terrible. Are you kidding me, Hakeem Nix? Oh my goodness. I, I think my voice even. Oh, Josh Gordon. <laughs> Just as I'm talking about, I don't even know what I'm saying right now, man. Flash Gordon on the screen. He might just complete the offense. This is what I was missing. Yes, this is exactly what I needed. A playmaking receiver. I do have Jordy Nelson. Keep that in mind if you did see the lineup update. But I think Jordy Nelson is a better route runner and that Josh Gordon is a better after the catch guy. So I was actually right on the route running, but Jordy's card is no slouch. Wow, they, they gave Josh a pretty terrible awareness. I think I'm going to have so much fun using this Josh Gordon card. I know you guys can't wait for gameplay. Oh my goodness. And oh, I, I just bought a card too. That's why my coins went down. I bought them before the commentary. Look at that, 87 jump. Yeah, they robbed him on the jump. 81 elusiveness. 
82 spin move, 85 juke move. Yo, Jordy is kind of a beast after the catch, too. I was slick. Oh, my gosh, man. I have no excuse. Except I guess my offensive line could be a little bit better to not have a just absolutely dominant offense and defense for that matter. Like, I have all the talent in the world right now. When I say that, I'm sure there's people with way better teams than me, but I, I just feel like my team is really good right now. I might get rid of Arian Foster, though. I don't know. I might I might, I might, give him a game, see how I like him, but I kind of want to get rid of him. Breast cancer awareness. So I, I really don't care what the rest of these packs are, the, the rest of these cards are. And okay, so terrible. But we have Josh Gordon. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Be sure to leave that thumbs up if you did. I'm D Coop. More coming out today. And I'm out. So, not really too surprisingly, our 24 hour hero this week is Gerald McCoy. Um, I don't think we've had 